friends and welcome back to my session. This is Dr. Priya Singh, Assistant Professor, Department of Tourism and Hospitality Management, Jamia Millia Islamia. You have been with me in the entire journey of sustainable tourism and today I have come up with a very interesting topic that is the discussion on the roles of various international organizations. So today we will be discussing the role of five major international organizations like UNWTO, WTC, PATA, UNEP and IUCN in Sustainable Tourism. In our discussion, we will be having the overview of different organizations, the introduction to international organization and the role of international organizations in sustainable tourism and we will further conclude. So today, we will delve into the fascinating world of sustainable tourism and explore the crucial role what has been played by various international organizations in promoting the sustainable practices. Because the organizations are the guide, uh, guideline setters and they always play a major role in deciding how we need to go about any particular practices. Specifically, we will focus on the UNWTO that is United Nations World Tourism Organization then WTTC, World Travel and Tourism Council, Pacific Asia Travel Association, that is PATA, United Nations Environment Program, that is UNEP, and International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. These organizations actively contribute to the development and preservation of sustainable tourism practices worldwide. So let's begin our exploration on these organizations. The first and foremost organization is UNWTO. The United Nations World Tourism Organization plays a very crucial role in promoting tourism practices which are sustainable in nature and it is globally accepted. So now we need to understand its specific contributions. The first one is policy development and advocacy. The UNWTO serves as a global platform for governments to share knowledge, exchange experiences and develop policies that promote sustainable tourism. The organization provides the guidance and also the technical assistance to the member states in formulating various sustainable strategies and also the policies which are tailored made to the specific need and challenges. UNWTO also advocates for the integration of sustainability principles into national and international tourism policies highlighting the importance of economic, social and environmental dimensions. Capacity building and education is also one of the major role of UNWTO. UNWTO offers training programs, workshops, and capacity building initiatives to enhance the knowledge and skills of tourism stakeholders in sustainable practices. The organization provides different types of resources which are educational resources, the publications and also the guidelines to support the implementation of various sustainable tourism initiatives and also at the local, regional and the national levels. UNWTO collaborates with academic institutions, tourism schools and research centers to promote the developments and sustainable tourism education and research among the youth and also the previous researchers. Now the again it also focuses on sustainable tourism standards and certification. UNWTO works towards the development and implementation of internationally recognized standards and certifications for sustainable tourism. 
The organization collaborates with various stakeholders to establish criteria and indicators that help the destinations, the business and also the tourists to make certain informed choices and also adopt sustainable practices. UNWTO Globe Code of Ethics for Tourism provides a framework for responsible and sustainable tourism behavior, encouraging all the stakeholders to adhere to its principles. The research and monitoring is very important aspect of UNWTO. UNWTO conducts research, analyzes and does data collection on various aspects of sustainable tourism, including its economic, social and also environmental impacts. UNWTO produces reports and various studies that inform the policy makers, the business owners and the communities about the latest trends of sustainable tourism and the best practices regarding sustainability. Also the UNWTO research contributes to evidence based decision making, allowing stakeholders to make implement defective and targeted sustainability measures and make very effective and fruitful policies regarding the same. Next organization is World Travel and Tourism Council that is WTTC. Now the World Travel and Tourism Council also plays a very significant role in promoting sustainable tourism practices globally. How it does we will go about it. Number one is advocacy and policy development. WTTC actively engage with governments, policy makers and the industry leaders to advocate for various sustainable tourism policies. It also emphasizes on the importance of aligning economic growth with the environment protection and also the social sensitivity that it does not only have environment into account rather it takes care of the economy and also the aspect of social cultural values. By fostering dialogue and the collaboration the WTTC encourages the integration of sustainable practices into national and regional tourism strategies. The second thing that WTTC does is environmental stewardship. What does it mean? The, it, it means that WTTC recognizes the crucial role of environmental stewardship in sustainable development. It encourages businesses to adopt certain eco-friendly practices and always be sensitive towards nature, reduce carbon footprints, emissions and also minimize the industry's ecological footprint. The, through the initiatives, WTTC promotes the use of renewable energy and also sustainable transportation, even sustainable accommodation and efficient waste management to mitigate the effects of tourism on environment. Next is research and measurement. The WTTC conducts research and develop tools to measure the economic, social and environmental impact of tourism. It also collaborates with academia, government and industry partners to gather data and provide insights into sustainable tourism practices. Also by understanding the industry's impact, the WTTC enables to inform decision making and encourages for the continuous improvement in the aspects of sustainability in the tourism sector. Now crisis management and resilience is very important feature of WTTC. WTTC actively supports and the tourism industry in the times of crisis such as any type of natural disaster or also global pandemics like the one happened in as COVID-19 hit the market and the entire world. So during that type of pandemic the WTTC was always prepared for crisis management and resilience activity. It provides guidance and resources to ensure a very resilient and sustainable recovery so that we are not able to have huge losses rather we are able to adopt smart strategies and recover and bounce back to the original position. By promoting best practices in crisis management the organization aims to minimize the negative impact and facilitate a very swift return to sustainable tourism growth. The next organization that is very important is PATA, Pacific Asia Travel Association. The Pacific Asia Travel Association is a very leading international organization which is dedicated to promoting sustainable tourism 
in Asia Pacific regions. The first important feature of this program is basically platform for collaboration. So, what does PATA do? PATA provides platform for dialogue, knowledge sharing and collaboration which brings lot of stakeholders of the tourism industry under a single umbrella. By bringing together the government, tourism businesses and local communities, PATA facilitates lot of discussions and partnerships to promote sustainable tourism practices. Because pe if people from diverse background assemble together and they start sharing their cross knowledge, then we will definitely have pollination of ideas and something new and very fruitful will come out. So, research and knowledge dissemination is one of the very strong feature of PATA association. PATA conducts research and analysis to gain the insights into sustainable tourism trends and practices. Also through publications, through reports and through different industry events, PATA disseminates the knowledge and also provides guidance to the members how to adopt any type of a sustainable strategies. So, not only from academics, rather the practitioners of the industry have a say here, they are able to present their ideas and then all the ideas are accumulated and what is the best has been summarized and being produced to the people who can make policy. Next is capacity building and training. This is very effective as training of the people will always deliver fruitful results. PATA organizes training programs and workshops to enhance lot of capacity of tourism professionals and stakeholders in implementing sustainable practices. So, lot of training is required. Nobody is trained from a very beginning or a lot of people who can always perform better through training is possible. These capacity building initiatives will always focus on areas such as responsible tourism, management, community based tourism, environmental conservation and cultural heritage preservation. So, education plays a very important role and the capacity building and training will always help the people to get educated regarding the environment. They will they, not everybody is so sensitive towards the environment. So, training is required. They will get used to how to be a responsible tourist. They will also be able to understand why do we need to respect other people culture and also they will be able to involve in lot of community activities and promote community based tourism. So, this will also give the host community a sense of empowerment. Also, the tourists who are the practitioners and who are the visitors will also have a sense of contentment that they are supporting for the cause of they are supporting to the cause of sustainability. Next is advocacy and policy development. So, PATA also advocates for policies that are sustainable in nature and regulates the support of sustainable tourism development. The organization engages with government and policy makers to make sure that there is a reason awareness about the importance of sustainability among various stakeholders because this will encourage the integration of sustainable tourism principles among the stakeholders and various national and international policies and strategies of sustainable tourism can be developed. So, this is very important. No organization is considered to be an effective organization until they are not able to make or suggest certain policies. Now comes the next organization which is UNEP which stands for the United Nations Environment Program. So, the UNEP is about policy guidance and advocacy. The UNEP also provides guidance and support to the government in formulating policies and strategies which will promote and which will aim for sustainable tourism development. It also assists countries in integrating various environmental considerations into their tourism development plans and also the existing policy which will ensure that the tourism growth is sustainable and is also socially responsible because the major concern worldwide is that the tourism is a very very growing sector. But is tourism growing sustainably? 
are the countries thinking worldwide that what is their impact or what is their share of burden that they have to bear towards the environment. So this organization UNEP will always advocate that the policies or any country who has certain existing policies also should add the environment angle to it. Also the UNEP advocates the inclusion of sustainable tourism in global environment agendas. It will also raise awareness about the importance of minimizing the environmental footprint. Next is sustainable tourism indicators and guideline. UNEP also plays a very crucial role in the development of sustainable tourism indicators and guidelines. These tools assist destinations and also tourism operators in measuring, monitoring and reporting various environmental performances. Now UNEP has a very major work towards establishing internationally recognized standards and also make certain indicators that allow for the effective evaluation of sustainability practices within the tourism sector. These indicators will help the destinations to identify area for improvement and track progress towards the sustainability goals. So this is a very important point that we need to consider that UNEP plays a very effective role in developing certain standards and also the indicators which will indicate a particular country that are they on the right platform, are they following the right process and what are the indicators that one is going or taking their tourism forward but that too sustainably. Next is awareness and public engagements. So UNEP also raised awareness among tourists also through travel agencies and the journal public about what is the importance of responsible and sustainable tourism. The responsible and sustainable tourism are also very budding concepts. They have not been very older concept rather they have emerged lately. This is a subject which needs to be made known to people and therefore creating of awareness plays a very important role. Through various campaigns and initiatives like responsible traveling or any other campaign, UNEP promotes environmentally friendly behaviors and choices. They also inform the tourists to be eco-sensitive and make green choices, encourages travelers to minimize their ecological footprint and respect the local community and cultures. So they educate the tourists that what role they have to play towards the environment and also they make the tourists know that they need to celebrate, embrace the culture of any destination they are visiting. Also by engaging the public, UNEP aims to foster a sense of responsibility and active participation in sustainable tourism practices. Next organizations that is IUCN. IUCN stands for the International Union for Conservation of Nature. So the first agenda or the key feature of this organization is conservation and protected area management which is very important segment of sustainable tourism. IUCN provides guidance and expertise in managing protected areas including national parks, wildlife reserves and also the marine ecosystem. This will ensure sustainable tourism activities within the areas which are protected in nature. The organization also works very closely with government, local community and tourism operators to develop sustainable tourism strategies that minimizes the negative impact on ecosystem and also wildlife. IUCN promotes the concept of ecotourism as well, which emphasizes responsible tourism to traveling to natural areas, supporting conservation efforts and also providing benefits to the local communities. Now it also focuses on the sustainable use of natural resources. If you can see IUCN advocates for the sustainable use of natural resources within tourism operations to minimize environmental degradation and maintain ecosystem health. The organization encourages the adoption of sustainable practices such as responsible water usage, waste management, efficient use of energy and reducing the carbon emissions. 
IUCN also provides guidelines and best practices for tourism operators to ensure the responsible use of resources and also the integration of sustainable principles into their operations. So this is all about the sustainable use of natural resources which the particular organization IUCN focuses to. They are also involved in community engagement and empowerment. So what happens in community engagement and empowerment? The IUCN recognizes the vital role of local communities in sustainable tourism and also supports their active participation in decision making processes. Because if we are not able to empower the local community, then definitely the business or the particular growth of that tourist destination will have a fall. So we need to really work on the community engagement and empowerment. The organization also promotes community based tourism. They try to make strengthen the position of a community of the local people who are residing in the area which will empower the local residents by involving them in any form of tourism development ensuring that they receive equitable economic benefits also and promoting the cultural heritage preservation. So once they have a say and once they are being supported financially then they would be empowered to have good decision making and this will also give them the sense of safety and security and they would be happy to work for the development of their destinations and also the IUCN works to build the capacity of communities to engage in sustainable tourism practices providing training and support to the enhanced understanding of the environmental conservation and sustainable tourism management. So IUCN also works on the capacity building of the local community that they just don't take their opinions or they just don't involve them in the ro various roles rather they first train them that what is the requirement that the industry is expecting or the requirement what they have to be doing about the competencies. So this is how they do it they do it through capacity building also. So this is all about today's discussion. I will conclude the topic now. International organizations such as UNWTO, WTTC, PATA, UNEP and IUCN play a very critical role in advancing the sustainable tourism globally. Also their efforts contribute to the protection of various natural and cultural heritage, economic growth and the well-being of the local communities because once the community is developed the destination will anyway grow and prosper. Also by collaborating with government, businesses and communities the, uh, these organizations pave the way for a more responsible and sustainable future for the country industry. Also this is all for my session today. I hope you enjoyed my session and had some learning outcome. Thank you and have a very good day. Thank you.